Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 16th of August and the time has just gone 9.05 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is Gold. Uh, if you take a look at the price action in recent months, since April we can see that Gold has been in a classic uh, example of a downward trend. A series of lower lows and lower highs all the way along over the last number of months. And in fact Gold fell to a level this morning not seen since January 2017. So the gold market has been obviously quite bearish uh, in, in recent months. But in the near term, there's a possibility we could see the price of gold bounce higher. This candle here on, the, on, uh, on for today's session, we're looking at a daily, daily candlestick. Uh, this candle here has a possibility of forming a hammer formation. Uh, and a hammer for, formation here is a kind of a textbook, textbook example of it here for you. A hammer formation is, uh, is formed after after a series of uh, after a series of of, uh, of, of sell offs after a market's been in, in a downward trend, uh, the, the the candle in question here is the one that is circled, and the hammer and the hammer for, uh, candlestick formation is when the market opens lower, has a large sell off usually at the beginning of this of the session, but then pushes higher and the and the market actually manages to close either at or above the open uh, of that particular candle. So notice how there's a very very long wick. On this on this candle here and a very long wick indicates indecision which ties in with what we're talking about uh, and then also notice how the body of the candle is actually only a fraction of the size of the actual wick so in this scenario here the market opened lower it quickly sold off printed a, a new uh, lower low but then the managed the market managed to actually push back up, up back up above the opening price and then actually close above the opening price and then what we can see here is the market then began to actually turn around the psychology behind this is that the selling pressure remains int remains intense. The market drives it lower initially, on the, usually at the beginning of a session. But then, uh, potential um, buyers uh, who believe the market has been oversold step into the fold, push the price back up. As the price dr drives higher, th those who are uh, who are short the market start to panic and they start to start to buy close out their short positions, and the short covering pushes it pushes the market higher. And we, we could be uh, in line to see a, a hammer formation. Uh, on t for today's uh, gold price. If that were to be the case, we could see the gold the price of gold edge up. And if you do bounce back from this level here, we could look, look uh, at heading back up towards the 1194 area to 1200 to 1204. So that kind of $10 area could be could, we could see that being um, being targeted in the near term. Uh, should this be a hammer formation? If you do go beyond 1204, we could, the next area for potential resistance could be up in around the 1125 to 1136 area on the gold market. But it is worth pointing out that gold has been in a very aggressive downward trend si since April. Uh, as you, as you, and, and if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that as the market's been driving lower, there's been a steady increase in negative momentum. So the market's been driving lower, and that's been confirmed by the steady increase in uh, selling pressure. So if the wider bearish trend does continue, uh, we could see area, area for, areas for potential support could be in around the 1150 area here. And if you go south of 1150, we could even see the 1125 area being targeted as well. For those of you who are trading gold, uh, it's worth pointing out in recent months, there's been a strong inverse relationship between the gold market and the US dollar. And the US dollar index is at its highest level in over one year. Uh, so if, if you are trading the gold market, please keep an eye on what's going on with the greenback. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.